It's time now for a little experimental fun with the space gal, Emily Calandrelli. Mm -hmm. Now, parents and kids might know her from her viral TikTok demos, not to mention her show, Emily's Wonder Lab, and her work with Bill Nye, the science guy. Emily's new book called Stay Curious and Keep Exploring. Next level, 50 bigger, bolder science experiments to do with the whole family. Emily Calandrelli joins us right now, first Yay. on CBS Mornings. How you doing? Good, welcome, welcome. thank you for having me. All right, so what made you fall in love with science? Oh my goodness, well, if I'm being quite frank, I got into science because I wanted to make money. That oh, was I like the that. original incentive, but then once I got there, I just became enamored with all of the discovery and the playfulness and the adventure of it all, and so now my goal is to get everybody else to become obsessed with it. But too. in the beginning, you said, you write in your book that you found it intimidating. You didn't consider yes. yourself to be the smart kid because at one test, you were asked the difference between a microscope and a stethoscope, and you yeah. failed, and you thought, yeah. ah, I'm not good at this. That's exactly and that right. changed. It changed. I didn't know any scientists or engineers growing up. I'm the first person in my family to pursue something like this. But along the way, I learned that you can make yourself one of the smart kids and that no single test defines you. Ooh, and I even like your that. look, I, like I know that. I like that too. Even your look is deliberate, right, Emily? Right, exactly. What is it? Because you look like a princess. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I am trying to make sure that girls like me can see themselves yeah. in science and know that they are welcome here, too. Well, parents like me can see myself using this book. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the kids are really squarely in the age for this. Uh, and you've got an experiment for us, a space-related one. Yes. Right? Where the elements of life are revealed That's in some way. That's yeah. right. Yeah, we will discover life today. This is the bubbly alien world experiment. And I love this one so much because you can do it with materials that you probably already have in your kitchen at home. So this is just water and food coloring. And I'm okay. just mixing the those. food coloring in there. Yeah, that's easy. All and right. then we have oil here. You can use any kind of oil that you like. And after I pour it in, you'll notice that it floats right to the top because Ooh. oil is less dense than water, meaning it's going to float on top of the water. Huh. And we have Alka-Seltzer tablets here too. And what happens when you add Alka-Seltzer to water? It fizzes. it fizzes, it bubbles, because inside here we have an acid and a base, the same stuff that's in lemon juice and baking soda, and when we add those two together, you kickstart an acid-base chemical reaction that creates carbon dioxide bubbles, and once that kicks in, you'll see the bubbles starting to rise mm -hmm. to the top, and we're really creating like a wow. lava lamp experience here, and this is very so similar. So it's going to get thicker, huh? It's, yeah, you're no, going no, to no, see like those carbonated. bubbles. Yeah, rise and fall and rise and fall. And this is very similar to another bubbly alien world in our solar system. And one of my favorite things about my book is that I connect the science from every science experiment to something a child will see in the universe and in ah. real life. One of my favorite things about your book, Cor Corny Jokes. What yeah. can run but not walk? Water. What do clouds wear under their thunderpants? Thunderwear. What's a geologist's favorite type of music? Oh, rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yeah. Very, very nice, Emily. And you say every scientist needs an assistant, so Tony, that's where the parents come in. Yes. That's where the yeah. parents come yes. in. I see myself as like your your friendly best friend scientist who can help the parents kickstart a scientific reaction for their kids. Look at this, it's getting kids. fun. This is like the fun element of bonding with your child over science. Because I have two kids myself. I know what it's like for a kid to walk into the room and be like, mom, can we do a science experiment? Can we do a science? Yes. My mom, my daughter says, yeah. And but I know that feeling of like, gosh, what are we gonna do now? This. This book yeah. is fantastic this right for that. Yeah, this is yeah. great for after school. And if you put a baking tray underneath the experiment to learn this the hard way, it'll catch all the spills and the mess. Ah, I see you, Tony. It'll, it'll Emily, save the rug. Emily, where do bad bad lights end up? Oh, in prism. <laughs> in prism. That's good. She's got a lot of them in Well the done. Yeah. Today, well uh, done, Emily. Well today, done. Today, the S in CBS stands for science. Emily Calandrelli, yes. thank you so yes. much. Thank Her book, Stay Curious and Keep Exploring, Next Level, goes on sale tomorrow. Bravo, right? Emily. Today. Bravo. Yeah. Bravo is right. Yeah, bravo.